playing some makeup. Okay, so guys, um, if you follow me on Snapchat, which you should, I was sharing with you guys that I had gotten a sample. How many people actually go to Sephora, get a sample, and then use up the entire sample? Like, like you really, really like it. I did, and so I had to go back and get it. And so I went and picked up the um, YSL All Hours Foundation. It comes in this really pretty gold packaging. I'm here for it, y'all. I'm not lying. And this is what it looks like. This, I believe, was $52 or $58. I'll put it below. Let's jump right in. I did not get the primer with this. It's because this is a, supposed to be a matte formula, and the primer is supposed to be a matte formula. Too much matte for, for your girl, so let me pin my hair back. I know that that would probably be too much matte, so I wanted to keep using what I'm using. And the primer that I use right now is by YSL, but it's not the one that goes along with this foundation. This is their um, Touch Eleche Bleu Primer. Yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and put one pump of this on my face. I do take it all down on my neck because that's exactly where I'm going to take the foundation. And shout out to all my subscribers that I've been seeing on the street in Philly. Hello, my loves. I'm so sorry that you guys have been walking and walking, um, catching up to me while I'm looking like death on the back of a garbage truck. I love you anyway. <laughs> and it was a pleasure meeting you guys. Let's talk about this foundation, shall we? The first night and day wear foundation by YSL on the night and the day with the flawless matte complexion which stays put all hours. I'm not doing that. It says up to 24 hours. You know I'm not doing that. Um, they says transfer free. We'll see about that. With no compromise on comfort. No need to touch up even through non-stop non -stop activity. Full coverage. A rich level of pigment create a flawless even coverage without a mask like effect matte shine control through the day um, this oil free formula keeps complexion shine free and reduces the appearance of pores shake 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 your booty okay so I'm just going to put one pump on my hand I'm gonna start with look how look, look at the match guys so I'm going to take this and I'm going to just dot all over my face. I feel like I'm doing something wrong. I am. I want to set my um, smile lines real quick. So let me just like wipe that one off. Because my smile, my, my smile lines be tripping. The Fit Me Loose powder in 35 to do this. I just did one side one one side of my face but I just want to see how far that that's one pump I want to see how far this gets and believe it or not I have tried this before and I like it better with a brush so that's how I'm going to apply it well that's how I'm going to blend it out rather and this brush is just so nice. So, you do not need fancy brushes to make it happen. Do y'all see this, right? Okay, I just want to make sure that I'm not bugging all the way the hell out. Because, you know, sometimes I'll be bugging. And we do a lot of foundation discoveries on this channel. I am all about the comp complexion products. I don't really go crazy over eyeshadow palettes. I do not go crazy over lipsticks. But I go hard for a foundation and concealer. And I just want to know if you guys are seeing what I'm seeing. Like, that was one pump. One pump. Like, no, y'all see? Like, I'm looking in the mirror and the monitor and wow <laughs> like wow guys I, that was one pump and I am so okay with that just oh 
Are y'all looking? Do you see what I'm talking? Let me fix my wig. That was one pump. I don't even want to go on with two. I am. I am. But <laughs> one, two. <laughs> That's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. I'm going to go on with one more pump just to show you guys. But just to let y'all know, on a regular day, I would not go in with another pump. That is more than enough. It looks insanely natural. Um, let's see what those pores looking like. Those pores look, they're not looking, um, enhanced or anything. I won't say that they won't, they went away, but I don't have super large pores, but they're definitely there. Um, my smile line is, is like trying to peek through a little bit right here, but on a regular day, I would be, I am fine. Just like that. I'm going to go in with a second layer, one pump, I'll get all of it. And I'm going to put it in areas that I feel like I need it. Well, actually, I'm not. I'm just going to just put. Like, I still see some darkness around my mouth, as always. Right up under my eye. Well, not right up underneath my eye. Right in that area. You guys know what that area always is for me. Right on. I don't have nothing left, but we don't believe in wasting. Okay, and I'm going to blend her out. And this brush is just freaking perfect for it. It's just, it's just really just buffing. This is um, Morphe's, this particular brush doesn't have any number on it, it just says Morphe, but this is their flat buffing foundation brush. And it's just everything. Love it. Yeah, so y'all, okay, I just want to make sure that you guys are paying attention. Because, just look at that. Wow. <coughs> are y'all seeing this? Wow. Wow. <laughs> Even the undertone is just working. Oh, man. You can't tell me I don't look filtered. My skin looks flawless. And at the same time, it's nowhere near cakey. Or it just, it just looks beautiful. Now, I know this foundation, I believe, comes in 22 shades. It's not enough to make me really happy because believe it or not, this color that I just put on is the darkest shade. Yeah, this color, which is not cute. I was about to put the wrong top on it. Uh, which is not cute. And I want to be mad at them about it. And I am. But I'm not going to lie. This like out of... This is fighting for my holy grail. And if you know me, you know my holy grail, the one I love, is Lancome. And I honestly think this just stole it. I think it just stole it. Like, I'll take that. Okay. So, I am going to finish my face. And then after I finish my face, we're going to wear this for the rest of the night. And we're going to see how it looks throughout the next few hours. Now, I know they said that it lasts 24 hours and all hours, yeah, 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 great. But for me to be a dry girl who, you know, so I'm not looking for, I'm not expecting my face to get uh, oily. But I want to look for if it breaks down, if it really starts to show my pores, if it really accentuates my smile lines, if it crack, uh, cracks up in my, um, my nose crack. So we're going to see how it behaves. That is what we're going to look forward to. So, let me finish the rest of my face and I'll be right back. But I just want to say, are you seeing this? Okay, okay, you, you good? You want one more look? Look. I'm just saying. She's freaking beautiful. Good God. Okay, I'll be back. Oh. Oh. Okay, so it's later on and it's been about six hours since I've had this on now. And 
I'm ready to go to bed. But you do see my face, right? <laughs> Y'all see me? My face looks freaking beautiful. Um, I've had this on for about, actually about six hours now. And I know it says 24 hours. I'm not, uh, uh. It said that it's not transfer. I don't know about that. That's not bad. That's not bad. That's not bad. I mean, it's a little bit, but I guess if you rub on someone's face, a little bit is going to come off, but not enough to actually mean anything. So that part looks great. I feel like my face looks so natural. It doesn't look like I... It's like, you got to be close to my... Okay, you have on makeup, but it doesn't look like I have on drag makeup or extreme makeup. It, looks, it actually looks really pretty. The only prop... Um... It really, I don't think that it did, it did not accentuate my pores. Um, my pores above, I mean, the area right above my lip does look like it's separating a little bit. It's right up in here. It could be just my, because I do have pores also above my lip. So it does look like it's separating a little bit there. I don't see that it's separating I don't see that it's separated in um, near my nose. I feel like some of the product is missing. These damn smile lines. My smile lines are serious and increase like crazy on my smile lines. The parentheses are real. But the rest of my face looks flawless. So I still love the damn foundation. It's definitely one of my favorites. And as of right now, I'm putting it, I'm saying it, I'm stamping it. I think it just surpassed my Lancome. I can't, I, I, I just said that because it is beautiful. I just have to figure out another technique to use with this foundation when it comes to my smile lines because like all everywhere else, it, it worked well with the other products that's laying on top of it. It just looked beautiful. Even the concealer that I have on looks really nice with it. I think the foundation is beautiful, guys. I, I really... I, I hate that I like it so much because I feel like YSL do not have as many shades as I would like it to have. It's not too much more than two or three. They don't have a large variety of color. I know this foundation comes in, I think, in 22 shades. And, um... Which is not great. They need to do something about that. But out of all the foundations, the Bobbi Browns, the, the, the NARS, the Laura Mercier, this is the foundation that actually worked to where I didn't feel like I needed to mix it with anything. I didn't feel like I needed to make it work. I feel like it just worked. It was perfect. This is the foundation that I have on that really is a nice mix between my face being darker and my chest being lighter. I am a huge fan of this foundation. I, I like it a lot. I like it a lot. And you guys know I don't like nothing. Every time I get them, I'm like, mm, eh, it's okay. I like it layered like I have it on now. And I like it by itself with just one layer. Um... I like it a lot with just one layer and I love that when I'm ready to get beat face I can layer it and it doesn't look all cakey and crazy not gonna lie like today getting back in front of my studio lights I fell in love with it so much more than I did even in regular daylight guys thank you so much for watching this video if you haven't done so already say it with me rate comment and subscribe and you never want to miss another video with your girl on the one so be sure to click the bell so that you never miss another video and that you are first to be aware that I uploaded a video so you can check it out first. I love you guys so much and I will see you in the very next video. If you know of any other foundations you want me to check out, you want me to review, leave them below and I'll get right on it. Love you guys.